Hey, Star Wars fans and Black Series collectors, welcome back. We've got Ben Kenobi, Tibidon Station here. This one has just slipped out into Australia via Big W, as well as the other exclusive Tika, um, which I've yet to pick up. I will um, while it is on sale. Um, but yeah, really, really glad this one has come out. I probably wouldn't have got it if it did, wasn't going to come out here because I don't really feel like paying exorbitant prices to get them overseas um anymore it's just not doable but yeah i'm glad i'm glad this one did come out um which you know it, it's a it's a really cool looking figure so really excited to crack this one open yeah. all right so slight change of scenery while we film this figure review um and you know there was about three days between the intro and this so <laughs> Here I am. Uh, yeah, just didn't get time to do it last time and uh, record the intro and uh, yeah, here I am with the figure. We've got Ben Kenobi, Tibbet on station. Really, really nice. This is one I was looking forward to. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I mentioned in the intro that uh, with the packaging that uh, yeah, I was, I was probably going to pass on it if it wasn't released here in Australia, but I'm very, very grateful that it has been. He looks really good. Um, love the soft goods. Uh, for the most part, the figure is just a complete repaint of the uh, regular Obi-Wan Kenobi. Because, um, yeah, there's, there really is no difference. Um, just colours the outfit, you know, it's the same. Um, I don't think the legs are different at all either, so... And, of course, the soft goods robe and the addition of his backpack, which we'll take a look at shortly. So, yeah, the soft goods are really good. I really like the way they've sort of... The way they sort of fold them together, you know, different sort of loops and, um, you know, just folds and, and all that kind of stuff. It looks really good uh, when you put it on the figure. And again, it take, took, takes a few goes to get it in the right spot again. Um, but, I mean, I guess there is no real exact science for it. But, um, yeah, it does, it does look good. And uh, I hope with the upgrade of Din Djarin Mandalorian... Um, that he will come with soft goods or something similar because I think that would greatly benefit that figure um, as opposed to completely rehashing the um, plastic cape he gets. But um, yeah, so accessory-wise, you know, he does come with the uh, soft goods as opposed to the sort of standard robe that the uh, Wandering Jedi comes with. He does have his blaster pistol, which is sitting there in his holster. Nice and snug. The pin clips over on the holster there which is nice it fits well so there we have that and I'll put that back in there afterwards when I'm not on camera <laughs> he has his lightsaber hilt which is pegged onto his belt and just the way they've sort of sculpted focus on that just the way they sort of sculpted the, the shirt there, just to allow that to sort of sit over, is actually a really clever move. And allows a bit of movement as well. It may pop out at some point, but it's not too bad the way it sort of sits in between the folds of the robe there too. Sort of a nice, nice snug fit, and when you've got this all gone, it sort of hides it. Um, even though particularly in the part of the series at the start where he's wearing this outfit he didn't yet have his lightsaber so that's not a big deal it's, it's still a nice accessory of course it does come with the blade which will peg in um but you know if you're just looking for an alternative outfit obi-wan kenobi to go on some jedi missions or something you know this is really good i'm a really big fan of the head sculpt i think that i know it's probably the same head sculpt but uh it I don't know, for me it feels a little bit better than the Wandering Jedi one. I'm not sure what it is. Get nice and close. I don't know, there's just something about it. it looks really, really good. I'm super impressed with this one. So yeah, the next next Obi Wan we're getting is the Jabim, which I think will be sort of somewhere between January and March next year. And then hopefully we can get uh, Obi-Wan from right at the end where he's got the sort of uh, mythos, 
Mythos look, that I reckon that would be fantastic. So yeah, as for the backpack, it can be opened with a couple of pegs there. And you know, you could probably put his lightsaber hilt or, you know, some some scraps in there. Maybe some of the parts that come with Tika could fit in there. Um, I do have Tika on the way. The backpack does fit on the figure, but uh, with the robe, it's it doesn't really work. Um, so you gotta kinda choose one or the other, um, just cause of the way it sort of bulks out. But yeah, it does fit on him really nicely. It sort of sits, sits nice and snug, looks, you know, aesthetically pleasing. It looks good. Um, but we'll just go and put this on. I guess, you know, I guess you could play around with it and get it to work a little bit. Um, but yeah, just with it sort of sitting over the back, it looks a little funny. Um, so I've gone to um, putting the robe on and then just putting it one sort of one shoulder strap over one arm. And you can just sort of tuck the other one behind the soft goods. But I think it's a nice accessory. I, lo I like little pieces like this, you know, you could chuck this on other figures and I don't know, but again, it's, it's, it's good. It's a nice piece. I'm glad they added that in. So yeah, and just with the butterfly joints, it allows that to sort of really just nice and easily just sort of slip back over the figure without having to, you know, to bend the figure too much or the backpack risking it breaking. So yeah, articulation's all good. I actually really like the way they've painted this figure up. Doesn't have that sort of sweaty look. Even his tunic is like a nice sort of matte finish. Sleeves are a little bit glossy, but you know, big deal. It's just a toy. So there we have Obi-Wan Kenobi, Tibidon Station. Really, really nice addition to the line. Yeah, again, really glad we were able to get this one down here in Australia. We weren't sure for the longest time. And yeah, with the soft goods sitting like that, I'll show you what I mean. Just being able to sort of hook that over like that. I think it works. That's that's, that's probably going to be working for my display anyway. But thank you very much for watching. Got some more figure reviews coming right up in the next few days. Um, yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.